and three, and two, and one. It's Sunday, December 8th, 2019. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Don't hurt nobody with your bad self. And welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast, Adventure in Length, episode number uh, 534. And I love how Damon did like the, the V. Yeah, yes. it reminded me <laughs> of uh, Maho Sentai uh, Major Ranger. Ah, ah, yeah, it's an anime thing or a manga uh, Japanese thing. No, it's a Super Sentai thing. No, I know. Power I'm Rangers. just saying in general. In general, it's a like it's Japanese. They do it in, yeah. Although, to to be fair, during during the non. Uh, 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 American shot stuff. Uh, it was also in Power Rangers because in the Pink Ranger form, she did it too. So, mm-hmm. because of course they're using footage that was oh yeah in Japan. So, anyways, um, so today we were going to have a guest. Unfortunately, that fell through. Aww. But that's okay. We got a backup. Yeah, so Daddy Hadrian had a commitment that came up, so he apologizes that he wasn't able to make it tonight. We're currently in the works of rescheduling, so that show's postponed. But, so Don't worry, folks. You will get your Daddy Hadrian fixed. It just might be a little bit longer. You know how those daddies are. They like to make you wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's... Mm, He's in fuckers. Just you know, one of those things. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight's show is brought to you by Jeff's Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <laughs> so what was the show? What's the show? Uh Jeff requested a little while ago. He's like, hey. I think we should do another this, that, or other. We haven't done one in a long time. To be exact, the last time we did one was episode 430, which was wow. two years ago. Wow. 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 Yeah. It has been, yeah I, I well, guess it has been a minute. To And to be fair, at least in this last year, we haven't really had much for Tumblr at all. Sure. I suppose we could have switched it over to Twitter and such, but yeah. But unlike the previous TTOs, this is not porn. Oh, I guess I'll go. No, <laughs> but some of these things could be like porn or get you porn, let you enjoy porn. So they're kind of porn adjacent. Sure. They could be very. Yeah, they could be helpful. Uh, or, or, or even for maybe for a little bit of sexy time in, in some cases too, I suppose. Anyways, we're we're, we're yeah. this time we're doing useful holiday gifts. Things things you can buy uh, a loved one, uh, whether it's a, a family loved one or a uh, chosen family from um, loved one, or just a good friend. Um. Are so, that trick you want to get keep on coming to bring it back to porn? As maybe. Okay. Know. Anyway, I'm just looking over the, <laughs> this list of items, and I don't think there's a prostate massager anywhere. <laughs> just, this is true. For the record, this is true. Okay. <laughs> so first. <laughs> okay. All right. So category. Uh, first category is uh, electronics, and I thought what's nice, what would be nice, is to get somebody a nice, 
the streaming thing that doesn't necessarily have to be with this specific environment. <clears throat> it's not Google, but it can do Google things. It's not Apple, but I think it might have an Apple thing. I think Apple Music might be on it. Uh, but it's Roku. Um, and I'm giving the link to the pay, their page on Amazon, which actually covers uh, their two major newer products, which is uh, uh, they've got just the, uh, the uh, Roku Express and the Roku Ultra. So you've got two options here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it also has, huh. a, it, they also include the voice remote too, but that's not necessary uh, unless you have one already. Um, but mm. uh, for less than 30 bucks, I mean, plus tax might roll over to 30 bucks. You can get a Roku Express uh, streaming player. You can get YouTube TV on there. You can, I believe you can even get Disney plus on there. A whole bunch of streaming stuff. Yeah, I think so. Um, uh, and actually, it mentions that you can even access Apple TV Plus. Oh. So there, there, you, there you've got a little bit of, of Apple. And, of course, you got YouTube. And as I said, YouTube TV mm-hmm. and Google Play. So you still got s- stuff on there. Mm-hmm. Netflix, Prime Video. Uh, Roku has their own channel. HBO Showtime has, has apps for, for it. Um, and as I said, live cool. TV, uh, in addition to YouTube TV, which I'm the one who got work uh, <laughs> there. Um, so that's why I mentioned that, but you got Hulu, uh, with live TV and PlayStation view, although PlayStation view might be going away for my, mm. but it's all less than 30 bucks. It's a plug and play thing. It does run on batteries. Like, it doesn't have a, a AC adapter, as far as I could tell. I didn't go too far into huh. it. Um, because I saw, like, in the box, it includes batteries. So, um, which hmm. is kind of weird, but maybe it's just maybe it's just batteries for the remote. I don't know. Oh, no, there mm-hmm. is a power adapter. Never mind. Excuse me. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, so that should be fine there. Uh, but you can just... It even has a removable adhesive strip, so you basically can just like put it on the back of your TV and then and then use the HDMI cable included to plug into your TV. Hmm. So nice little easy player. Uh, if you want to go the full box route, they do have the, it does include the uh, full Roku Ultra, but that's uh, more like a hundred dollars. Uh, this is still less than an Apple TV true and uh, mm. don't get me started on, on chromecast <laughs> <laughs> so they come chromecast comes in useful not as useful as a roku or an apple tv and what i will the... actually oh go ahead go ahead Gary. i was go just ahead. gonna say one of the nice things is that on android and ios they have a remote app so you can actually turn your device into an app into the remote mm. so oh. yeah yeah, and I will own I own a Chromecast and um it's finicky as fuck. Um <laughs> to be blunt. So I would I may be switching to something like this because the thing i I want is I wanna be able to do it for my phone and my laptop. Like if I want to stream something over to to um YouTube. For some reason just for some sometimes it doesn't always work. It works really great with the phone, but it doesn't always work with the laptop. Yeah, so, well, anyway. this you can't cast to it. Oh, I'm just talking in general. Yeah, but if you want to watch like a YouTube video, you can just pull it up on your on your Roku. Yeah. Instead of yeah. on your laptop and and watch it. Yeah. Uh, through the Roku, so I, you got I you got the mini that, and the and the extra large. <laughs> yeah, as an as an Apple TV owner, YouTube on TV is addicting as fuck. Just be forewarned. <laughs> it was, it was video content, so. Oh yeah, constant. Nice. And, yeah. and as I said, it has all these other streaming services still available. So even if you don't do the one of those specific ones, mm-hmm. you you got you got other options. So yeah. so if you don't want an Apple TV, a Roku is actually a good option. We have actually a Roku TV at work, um, and I pl- I played around a little bit with that, and it's it's a nice uh nice little thing. So 
Yeah, there's TVs which have Roku, the Roku operating system built into it. Mm. It's not part of the link cool. that I'm sending, but uh, those are much uh, more expensive. <laughs> yeah, And this might be the workaround. I don't know for certain because I know recently some changes have come about. Like I just got an announcement email from Hulu that they're phasing out Facebook logging in as an option for Hulu. But there's another thing, and I can't remember what it is. It's all Sony products are no longer going to be supported with Netflix or something. Um, that happened a little while ago, I want to say. So this might be an option for folks to consider um, if they were affected by that. So instead of having to buy a whole brand new TV or some shit. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of prefer the just basically having the TV as a big, big old monitor for the most part. And then just being able to just plug in devices for the actual thing. In my case, Apple TVs. Mm-hmm. But uh, Roku is a is an excellent alternative. Cool. That is my useful electronic gift. And as I said, the the the, the Express less than thirty bucks. Cool. I'm actually going to update mine really quickly, but I am going to talk about this one here first. Um, essentially, my idea was. I've been a big fan of, like, as a gift, the portable Bluetooth speakers, um, mm-hmm. just in general, because um, sometimes you like to listen to music. And I have, I don't know about you, but since I work downtown, I have noticed a lot of people using them, like having them, like, on their bikes or as they're walking around, like, holding them or have them, like, up. Like, you know, remember back in the 80s when you had, like, the big, like, jukebox or jukebox? <laughs> Boombox. Boombox. And you were holding it. Yeah. <laughs> Words, things, anyway. So now I've been seeing like a lot of people like just use like a a Bluetooth speaker and that's what they use. And they play their music and sometimes they take them on the bus, which is kind of annoying. But um, in general, like so the one I, I linked first is the um, Bose SoundLink Revolve Bluetooth speaker. But it's $119, y'all. So there are lots of different ones, and there are many different types. Um, and, you know, depending on, I'm assuming by the price range, usually it's dependent on how, how you know, sound quality and how, how much range you get, et cetera, et cetera. Um, while I was uh, talking, there's a um, one that showed up that's Amazon's choice is actually the Oots Angle 3. And it has a 100-foot wireless range. It has a microphone and everything else. So I kind of am actually going to switch over to that one. Um, And I think these are really neat tools, um, mostly because um, as someone who has done performances or gone out to events where you sometimes need to play something, it's nice to just have that and be able to link it to your phone and you can play the music. When we were doing the... um, uh, Wheel of Fortune at our um, recent chorus retreat. That's what we used to play all the sounds that were, you know, like, uh, the puzzle sound, and the, the bankrupt sounds, and uh, the music that LaDonna performed with. It was all done on that Bluetooth speaker, and it was kind of, it was loud and, and pretty decent enough to kind of carry through, and later on in the evening, they brought them down to the fire pit, and I just, I just think they're really cool. And I would yeah, I, if I were giving out gifts for something, this would be something I would love to give people. So it's just basically just in general Bluetooth speakers. Yeah, mm-hmm. just in general Bluetooth speakers. But we're finding some yeah. specific ones that, that you might want to get. Yeah. So. And I would say if you're interested in Bose, uh, I kind of keep my eye out for like the renewed refurbished stuff. Um, mm. I, also, I honestly kind of do that with Apple too, just because it's mm. it's higher end price point and once you buy something brand new like the value kind of starts to fall off like a car in a way so some of that stuff i kind of like keep an eye out on like brand new things so yeah the the oost angle three to one that i just power it comes in one two three four five six seven different colors including apparently a coca-cola one (laughs) which i think is kind of cute um yeah nice gary so speaking of things that come in many colors, uh, I actually have a version of this. It's not this exact thing, but it's called the Jellycomb 2.4 gig slim wireless mouse with nano receiver, less noise, portable, mobile, optical mice for notebook, PC, laptop, computer, and MacBook. And it comes in 27 colors. So 
Um, it's very inexpensive on Amazon right now. It's eight ninety nine. Uh, free returns. Um, there's gray. There's pink. There's pure purple, as opposed to just plain old purple. As opposed to violet. As opposed to fuchsia. <laughs> Um, they have a cool kind of white and black looking one, um, white and silver. They've got a bunch of different stuff, but I have this one. It's not the one here at my desk at home. This one's a, a Logitech, but I switched over to wireless mice many years ago. And at my current job, they gave you a wired keyboard and a wired mouse. And I found the wired mouse to be so freaking annoying. And when I found out that you could bring in your own device, I was like, sweet. So... I got this Jellycomb one. It is super quiet. It's tiny. Like, it's very nice. And I have smaller hands. So, like, I, it's not big and cumbersome. It's really easy to use. Runs on batteries. Um, I have backup batteries at my desk. And so, yeah. I, if anyone's kind of, like, looking for maybe a stocking stuffer type thing or something that might be useful or if you have that option to take a wireless mouse with you. Like, I normally have – I think I have a Microsoft one – that's a of a small mini mouse that's in my backpack usually back when I used to take my laptop everywhere. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just, it's just something, you know, people may not necessarily think about it. Like I got my dad a wireless mouse this year cause he had a wired mouse and it was driving me crazy. And I was like, no, my dad was like, <laughs> they make them without a cable. I was like, yes, they make them without a cable. It's okay. It works. <laughs> so his mind has been blown. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it has even up to like 15 meter range, which I don't know why you would want to be like 40 some feet away from like your. Uh, well, for some, I device. think it's um, sometimes it's like using it like it, you can use it for like TVs or stuff, depending on the app of what you're doing. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's, I it's relatively got... small. It's about like what does it say? Five inches by two and a half ish to by one and a half. So mm -hmm. it's not very big. Like it's you know palm of your the size of your hand kind of thing. So. It's funny. I was actually nice. looking um, for one um, recently because um, we have meetings now where I'm going away from my desk and the little <laughs> mouse on the keyboard for my work laptop is so small and so cumbersome and it takes so much longer. So I ended up buying. I, I didn't get this one, but I did remember, I remember seeing this one and like, oh, I can get it. And, and if you look right and if you look, sometimes the Jellycomb brand, they also come with a small um mouse pad so like when i bought my one of my previous ones this is kind of what it looks like like it's just a basic black um mm -hmm. but it's that kind of like certain like it's super slick fabric um that's good and soft to the touch but also like you know it's good for laser optical mice and mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you can kind of get a combo for about 10 12 bucks i think um of the mouse pad and the mouse so oh that's so nice. nice all right all right, next category. Let's get into a little bit of entertainment. Um, Damon inspired mine, uh, and it's kind of a supplement <laughs> to it. Um, recently, uh, Dungeons & Dragons has released a basically their new version of their starter kit, uh, hmm. which they call the Essentials Kit. Um, and it's only like, on Amazon, it's like $22.49. And it includes... Uh, uh, an adventure, uh, dungeon master screen, a basically an abbreviated version of the rule book, um, and some dice and a map of the Sword Coast. Uh, basically, stuff to go along with the adventure and some some additional stuff to again go along with the adventure. Uh, it's a great starting point for new people. Um, from some of the reviews I saw, it is a little more complicated than the actual original starter kit for 5th edition. But it's the new one, so I wanted to point to the new mm. one. And it, it has some yeah, great yeah. things. Like, it has, in, in this version, it has rules on, if you can't get, like, three or four people, or even five people uh, to play, so you would need the Dungeon Master plus these, plus... Uh, four to five players for the adventure um, it gets tricky um, but with this they have a supplement of sidekicks uh, basically mm. player controlled NPCs um, and, and simplified you know class mechanics for them so that they can help out 
so that's one of the reasons why I like it a little bit better than the star starter kit is you don't necessarily like you could literally have two people, uh, mm -hmm. one person running the adventure, one person playing, and then they has he have, they have sidekicks with them. Uh, mm. Yeah, I was just reading that it says play with groups as small as two players. New sidekick rules let you play D and D with just a dungeon master, one adventurer by allowing townspeople, animals, or other creatures to join you on your quest. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty cool. So that's one of the reasons why I I personally prefer over the starter edition is just because you don't necessarily need as many people if you're just starting out and you like you get it and yeah. only two people playing. Um, I mean, but if you get a full full party, um, then you don't need to use the sidekicks, uh, but you can still do it. <laughs> um, yeah. D and D D and D Beyond actually has some supplemental adventures to go along with the Dragon of Ice Fire Keep or Ice mm. Spire Peak, um, uh, which is the adventure that's in the Essentials Kit. So if you want to, if you do that and then want to just like kind of continue the adventure, uh, you can go to D&D Beyond to, and uh, they've got the uh, Essentials Kit bundle where you can get those supplemental adventures. And they have, they also have uh, as part of that, basically levels ups for your sidekicks. Mm. So. nifty and if you're not in a big hurry um there are some new or like slightly used condition ones on amazon to be on the, the lookout for um if you're not in a hurry for the prime thing uh it could be a little cheaper so if you're looking to save a couple bucks but still get in the time for ho 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 day yeah and it's if anything it is it just in general, it is relatively expensive, and you get these, you get these cards, uh, spell cards, uh, magic item cards, and some additional rule cards, which kind of help follow along. Especially as I said, if you're a new player, it's great. So that is my entertainment kick. So, in relation to D and D, um, there was something a recently uh, put out adventure. Um, between um, Dungeons and Dragons and Rick and Morty. So if you are a fan of the television show, the fun cartoon with the mad scientist and his um, quirky, geeky nephew, or not nephew, grandson, um, this is kind of a combination of the two. Um, I've not played this yet, but I saw this and immediately put it on my wish list because I think it's kind of a fun whether if you're a fan of the show or you're a fan of D and D, it might be a fun way to, you know, get you know bring those two together. Um, it says it it says this tabletop role playing game box set blends the world of Dungeons and Dragons with mad narcissistic genius Rick Sanchez's Rick Sanchez's power game and sensibilities, nostalgia, sarcastic meta commentary, and the reasons why people play D and D in the first place. So. Just fun. Uh, there was a comic book series recently, and this is kind of playing along those lines as well. Um, I'm a fan of d and I'm a fan of Rick and Morty. I think it would be a really fun gift to give someone that's a fan of both. Um, it is basically a kind of a starter kit with an adventure, a la like the ones that they did for like Stranger Things and a couple of other you know TV shows. So if you are a advanced gamer, D, D gamer it might not be like something you're like really like hardcore like into but it's a fun little take on things and i'm i think i might grab it just to have yep that's cool. mine and the uh uh it's it's like 26.99 for the actual paperback uh mm -hmm. on amazon uh it is it is only twenty bucks on D and D Beyond, so if you don't really yeah. want to worry, about ah. the, if you don't want want to worry about the physical thing, um, you can always get it through D and D Beyond for a little bit cheaper. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they do have a, there is an actual comic book called Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. There's a comic book series on that. Ta -da. Yeah. yeah. So basically, we covered all your Dungeons and Dragons uh, needs. I think. <laughs> Gary, what do you got for geekery entertainment? Uh, so in the category of entertainment, I chose big surprise Disney Plus. Ta-da! 
Um, shocked, I say. Shocked. Well, listen, y'all. Uh, it's not that expensive. Um, six ninety nine a month uh, to do the monthly thing, or I think it's uh, seventy dollars for an entire year. So you get a little bit of savings if you do like an annual. And then, mm-hmm. and I was just thinking about this today because I went ahead and got Disney Plus as like a discount, like as a multi year thing. And then I was just thinking about how I kind of might have been foolish about that because they have a Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus for 13 a month, which means for basically the amount I'm paying for Hulu right now, I could have Hulu and Disney Plus together. Mm-hmm. So I might so, have so you're, myself on that. Well, actually, just so you're aware, the Hulu Plus that the Hulu that is on the Disney Plus that thing is the it is the one with commercials. So is mine. Mine is commercials before and after the show, not okay. During. I'm just giving you like that was the thing. Like my friend of mine like was talking to me about it because he was like, "Oh, that sounds like a really great idea." He's like, "Wait, no, stop, stop," because <laughs> it's it's you have to deal. You may have to deal with the commercials. So I don't know if you have the one that's limited commercial or if you have the one that's you know. So we'll see. Anyway, just for those that are interested, you know, keep that in mind because I did see that as well. I'm sorry, Lloyd. I know that Disney Plus isn't available in the rest of the world just yet, and the UK is getting it in the beginning of 2020. So you're just going to have to edge until then. But when you get it, I'm sure you're going to love it. Um, and just, just think about this. Any of the bugs they, they've had had so far, which I don't think have been very many. I think there have been some complaints about user interface, but but hopefully they'll be improved before they get to the UK. So you may end up having a better experience to begin with. Fact. <laughs> yeah and like so uh, one of the things i will say is i'm shocked by the amount of people i know that have kids that don't have this um one of my supervisors at work has two little kids and neither of their children are into disney which is just shocking <laughs> um so i was like it still has a free trial like you could just get it and see if they like it at all um but anyways so, show, show them gummy bears yeah. and and uh, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers and the original uh, uh, Ducktales, Darkwing Duck maybe even. Well, and so like as an example of what I'm doing right now, uh, the new Star Wars film, The Rise of Skywalker, is coming out uh, December 19th slash December 20th, and I just realized I can go back and I can watch the first eight movies in order, like one a night ish. So that by the time I go see the last one in the trilogy of trilogies, I'll like be back on track as to like remembering who's who in storylines, <laughs> like if stuff comes back from the past, which is expected in this one. And blah, blah, blah. And, so. and you can even throw in Solo and and Rogue One. True. Ooh. So you you could do the whole thing chronologically speaking. Although, well, if anybody hasn't seen Star Wars. It's fair to just go ahead and skip the first episodes one, two, and three. That's fine. I don't know. I just watched this weekend. I just watched one and two. And to be honest, going back and watching them again, some of the criticisms are fair, but (laughs) I can see conceptually kind of like where the story like was building and stuff. I will say this though, be forewarned. Disney plus does not have the last Jedi, which is film number eight in the nine movie timeline because they had pre agreements so number eight the last jedi is not coming to disney plus until december 26th which is a week after the move the last movie goes live like in theaters so because i was like wait a minute why is it not suggesting the eighth movie like i keep and i kept searching and searching and searching and then i finally when i actually put it in to disney plus is like the last jedi that i saw it came up and it says that Due to previous agreements, they will not have it until December 26th. And I was like, well, that sucks. Cause that's a week after it, the movie. If anything, out. it is on Netflix. Correct. Which is which is the reason why it's not on Disney Plus yet. Is because the right. contract with, is still still with Netflix. And they were like, yeah, we're just going to let that play out and, and let that finish up. So if you ha- still have Netflix, you can watch all the other movies on Disney Plus, pop over to Netflix for the Last Jedi, go see The Rise of Skywalker, you're good to go. Or if you're like me and have already purchased the movie, then it really doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. No. 
All right. So that's it for entertainment. Let's talk about food, shall we? Yes. Ooh. Hey, you know one of my favorite meals? <laughs> what is... is your favorite meal, Gary? Or Gary? <laughs> wow. wow. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Apparently. I'm tired. I will own I am tired. <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. I'm sorry. Continue. Anyways. Um, my favorite favorite meal is um, grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. And I found one of the best ways to eat it is to have a nice is is I, I dip my grilled cheese into the tomato soup and having a nice wide bowl. And then when after I've eaten everything, instead of like using a spoon to eat the rest of the soup, I like just kind of like drinking it from the bowl. Well, Basically, if it has a handle, it's even better. So a soup mug is great, but it needs to be kind of like wide and, and big and everything. Well, there's this great soup mug I found. Uh, you'll find it on Zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. It's the COL soup mug. <gasps> really? Dang. Yeah, it's <laughs> I love it so much um I, a, after i got it yeah it's a little expensive at like 22 bucks uh there is a currently a 25 percent off code but that Ooh. ends today <laughs> so by the time anybody oh. leaves, <laughs> if you're not watching live <laughs> it may not be there oh wow well. but you know it, zazzle has has discount codes all the time so uh, you know keep keep yeah. watching um, and it's, it, I just find it to be a really great soup mug. It's, it's nice and clean. It's white with Cubs Out Loud banner on it. Um, and, and it's wonderful. Uh, there's you also, love it. yeah, they, they also have like chili bowls. Uh, but, uh, that's, it's, I think it's a little bit smaller and it's instead of having the rounded bottom, it's a little more square. So, mm. Uh, but there uh, you go. Um, yeah, so there's there's a couple options for you. It's not for sipping tea; it's for sipping soup. So. Mm -hmm. I love it, you and could... I think other people would love it too. So that's why I I chose that. There you go. So for me, do you love wine? Do yeah. you love wine as much as I do? So one of the things I have, have had on my wish list for a while, and I will probably be buying soon, is the Oster Cordless Electric Wine Bottle Opener. Um, I am not great with the regular, like, corkscrew um, wine opener, bottle bottle openers. Never have been. I always had difficult. I either get it in too, too, I get it in too deep, and then I can't get it out. Or I don't quite get enough in, and it, yeah, end up having to break it and stuff. So I am not the greatest wine bottle opener. -er. So why not have something else, get something that will do it for me? So, <laughs> or just get screw top <laughs> bottles. Or get screw top bottles, but hmm. they're fun. So, that's, that's like one level above box wine. Just be careful. I know, right? Yeah. So, so. here's the thing. Um, uh, before David goes I've on heard, I've heard some sommeliers say that that screw top wines are are just fine. And there's probably sommeliers that drink box wine straight from the tap, but that's a whole other issue. So, uh, here's the thing I want to say about this particular cordless uh, wine opener. Friends of mine have had this; it works great. Mm -hmm. So that's mm. my endorsement, just so that David and everybody else knows. I know this exact <laughs> model; it works. I will say this though: <laughs> it takes a little getting used to to. On to okay, so most of them work principally the same way. They're automatic, like you push the thing on, and then you press the button, and it goes and it puts the screw back down in, and then, like, you know, and then you and then it pops it off. However, the first time you ever use it, if you don't read the instructions, you're quite befuddled as to how the hell you get the damn cork off the corkscrew. Oh, so it's it can't be done, you just have to pay attention to read the instructions. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so, read the instructions. Read yeah. the instructions before you start using it. This is this is where uh, masculinity shouldn't come in, and you actually read the instructions. Fact, but it's yeah. it's it's oh, easy cool. to use relatively and and without issue. So yeah, sweet. 
So I might be getting that soon. <laughs> Especially with the ring endorsement of Mr. Gary Snyder. Uh, um, and it includes a foil cutter. Yeah. Gary? Um, so mine is something I've had for a long time. Crap, I forgot to bring mine up. Um, I uh, personally own this. I learned about this probably about four or five years ago from a podcast uh, that's called Still Entitled, The Adam Savage Project, which is Adam Savage from Mythbusters. Um, Norm and uh, uh, oh my gosh, his name just went out of my head. Will have been on there, and they haven't actually done one of these in a couple of years now, I think. But they used to get towards this time of year talk about the best products that they've ever bought or that they like personally use every day in their lives and they really enjoy. So uh, Will talked about this uh, Zojirushi um, thermal stain. Well, this one's in stainless steel, but it comes in a bunch of colors. Um, they come in twelve ounce and sixteen ounce. It's a thermal. Uh, steel mug it's kind of basically like a thermos um, but thermos is also a brand so don't get confused because they make a very similar uh style but it keeps hot things hot or cold things cold um for hours so here's your example i get up in the morning i'm not a coffee drinker i'm a tea drinker so if i and i have an electric tea kettle that i can set the temperature to and so if i set it for 160 degrees and which is not necessarily very hot, but it's like nice and hot, warm water and make tea, you know, and I can put the tea bags in, put a little honey or whatever in, um, seal it up, take it with me to work. It will be hot pretty much for an entire work day. Like Ooh. from when I start in the morning till seven, eight, nine hours later, um, the hotter the liquid or the colder the liquid you put in, the longer it will last. So, and I've actually put a hot beverage in this container in my cold car in the snow in the winter and forgotten about it and came back like an hour or two later and the beverage was still hot. So I'm from huge believer. And if you believe in ratings on amazon.com, there are 7,720 ratings. It's approximately four and a half stars. So there you go. Um, yeah, you're muted, Damon. I know. I just figured it out myself. Y'all. Okay. I just added it to my list. <laughs> to my wish list because yeah so well like like when i first got it the first year i did i almost bought one for all my friends like that's how much i love this thing so much like i almost bought one for drew i almost bought one for heather like i just almost went nuts and just gave everyone one because i love it so much <laughs> um but there was a part of me that's like i don't know how people how grateful people would be if you just gave them a thermal mug like like Heather is like me. She's a tea drinker. Drew's a coffee drinker. Like, so it's like, you kind of, even though I know this about them, I also like kind of didn't want to step on my toes. Cause some people kind of get like brand specific and mm -hmm. so, cause there's, cause there's other brands that are out there that are similar to this and stuff, but I take it with me to work and it has this cute little elephant and the name on it. And that has like Chinese characters on the label and stuff. And so people are kind of like, where did you get that from? Cause I think I literally imported it from like wish or from China or some <laughs> shit. And I'm like, I got it through Amazon. Yeah. So, in fact, this past week at work, uh, for a couple of days, I have a new supervisor, well, new-ish, who is sitting between me and uh, the John who sits next to me. And she was looking at my desk, and she's like, where'd you get that? And I just cracked up, and I was like, okay, Amazon, 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 this is Amazon. Uh, that was from Office Depot. That was from the dollar store. Like, I just broke everything down on my desk because <laughs> I, I get asked so much where all my stuff comes from. And I'm kind of like, jealous bitches, much. Well, I'm just kind of like, like you, you where'd you get it? Some, you could just go buy some yeah. shit. Get, get some post it notes and just like put them next to each item. Got an Amazon. <laughs> well, I have a whole book. I have a whole book box of post it notes that I bought recently. Uh, you know, the little paper flags, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, <laughs> Amazon. Anyway. Amazon. By, by the way, I Label love one of the uh, reviews on this. Uh, it, it, a one star review. I don't think he should have given it one star for reasons. Mm -hmm. Where he was complaining about the fact that uh, after a while the paint started coming off, which is one of the great reasons that that you click select the stainless steel model because that doesn't really have any paint. And it's like, but it's still doing its job as being a vacuum bug <laughs> and still keeping things warm. <laughs> Yeah. So, so remember, for these type of things, sometimes there's certain like 
Vacuum mugs and their parts are not dishwasher safe, nor should a cleaning brush be used, as they are not designed to withstand heat and friction. Exposing the products well, to high heat, such as the dishwasher or certain sponges, can potentially damage the mugs and their parts. And this is referring more for the cosmetic stuff. <laughs> right. I will say this, like, because I don't own a dishwasher, I don't ever think or worry about that. But yeah, like the 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 lid itself come has three parts to it. It does all come apart. You can easily put it back together. You just kind of have to know like how to pop things together. Um, so yeah, but like I use it pretty much every day. And the good thing is you can use it year round. So like I got it specifically for hot tea in the winter, but like I could put cold stuff in it, you know, when I went to work when it was a hot day and still it would work just fine. So mm. that's my food related item. Nice. Yeah. Next so, category. So just, just be careful on those things. So. Uh, moving on into our home. Um, this was actually inspired <laughs> inspired by my sister because uh, she was recommending stuff for for our parents for for Christmas presents. Um, it was a broad category she gave. I'm just linking to one possible one: uh, electric throw blankets. Because uh. it's always nice to have an electric blanket, not necessarily just on your bed. But when you're sitting there watching TV on your couch. Mm. Yeah. So this one is fast heating flannel with a Sherpa reversible 50 by 60, three hours auto off and four temperature settings. Nice. Machine washable. Yeah. Just look for a a high uh, reviewed Amazon choice one. Nice. So I will say this, if you live in a northern climate, and I might have said this before, um, and it gets cold where you are, and you don't have like drafty windows, like you live in an old home, um, mm-hmm. one thing you may want to consider, depending on who you are and how your home sleeping arrangement is, something I used to do at the place I used to live at before this, was I would put the electric blanket on, and I actually had it set on a timer, and so it was under the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, the blanket, the comforter. Like it was on the very, very bottom above the mattress. And it was set okay. on low. And like the auto like timer would turn on at like say 8 o'clock at night. And then when I would go to crawl into bed about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, the whole bed was nice and toasty. Ooh. This was Someone's the best night's thinking. sleep in the winter because then <laughs> – but then I would also like have it like so that it would – like shut off at a certain point during the night or whatever. But I was just like, yeah. So I was like, Ooh, temperature control climate in my bed. Yeah. So now this is not bed though. Although you could use it on a bed, but this is, this is also for like, if you're just cozying up in your recliner or on your couch or something. Right. Which I can see that being fun. Like, I, I lay on the couch all the time, but I don't think I want a heated blanket because then I will never get up from the couch. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have a beautiful couch that's very comfortable, you can just stay there for the night. Like, I have personally fell asleep several times on my sectional and pretty much stay there all night. When I have friends come over, um, some people actually prefer to sleep on my sectional. <laughs> Mm. They find it so comfortable, and I'm okay with that. Like I have blankets and pillows stored downstairs, and I'm just like, okay, like you know, have um, fun. Go ahead. Good yeah. Night. So, yeah. So this this okay. this recommendation brought to you by my sister, uh, who no longer is in Anderson. Ah, oh. she got married. Yay! She, she got, got married. She got married. Um, so for me, um, this is actually not an Amazon product. Um, this is actually it's okay. a... It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. This is um, a site I found through Facebook um, called uh, Brickles Men's um, Products, or Brickle Men's Products, excuse me. And they do like skincare and, and, and such like that. And I actually personally use, I haven't used it in a while though, um, this um, routine. It's the Men's Daily Advanced Face Care Routine 2. They have another one, um, routine one. And the main difference between the two is the face wash. Um, the one here is a purifying charcoal face wash. And then they have a, um, I believe it's just a um, daily cleaning. I forget what it was called. Um, I'd have to find it again. But, you know, 
Um, I found these products, like I said, I found them through Facebook. I've been using them for a while. Uh, I was using the other, um, the other routine. Like I started with this one and then I got um, to the next, to, I used the other one and the other one just didn't work so well. It actually ended up breaking out a little bit more, like oily skin and stuff. So I, and I'm going to go back to this one now to see if it's a little better. Um, but one of the things you can do if you are, if skincare is not thing for you or not right for you, you're not sure about it, they actually give out um, a free sample kit. And that's what I actually ended up with first. I got the free mm. sample kit and you try all their different, they have little samples, like little itty bitty, like bottles, maybe it lasts a couple of days or so of their products. And you, but you get a whole bunch of them from their um, like body lotions and body washes to their hair, um, like shampoos and conditioners to like their anti-aging and their day and night syrup kind of help. Yeah. You get all these fun little um, samples of it and you can try things for yourself. And they even, they send a card with you that gives you, um, it does not like, include their beard oil. No, it does not. Unfortunately, no. Um, but by the um, way, they do have beard I, oil. <laughs> Just... Yeah. They do have beard oil. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, they, you know, they have plenty of different things and this obviously, you know, is geared for men and some are sent, you know, you can get it scented or unscented. The scent is kind of a um, light pepperminty kind of scent. Um, mm. It's not overly harsh, um, but, you know, I, okay, I will say that I've liked their products. I've used them for um, about a, almost a year, I think give or take um i don't do it like twice a day like you're supposed to so i that could also be part of where i'm having issues so don't look at my skin right now on the on on the page and be like oh my god no like but um that's just a laziness factor i'm not a big like like get everything done at night i'm usually like oh i'm up till i go to bed and then i go to bed so but yeah give them a try Go ahead. For their for their sample kit, you get fifteen trial size bottles for free, plus a ten dollar off your first purchase coupon. Yeah. I'm like, how could you not? Yeah. And if nothing else, you can try a couple of things and um if you don't like it, then they have a thirty day money back guarantee with each order. Mm-hmm. They got FAQs, email. The the beard oil is twenty five bucks uh, for a one time purchase or twenty one twenty five if you want to do like a reoccurring basically subscription. Mm-hmm. So you get a yeah. bit, I, I, bit off. Yeah. So again, like I said, oh, if, you can get you it for, to... for a four milliliter sample jar of beard oil. Ah. Just here, select the side, but it's only four millimeters milliliters mm. I, don't I didn't know, just... realize that yeah I was thinking I have uh, does it just not it. cost anything yeah it won't cost you anything and um oh yeah oh, I, it's two bucks for the for the sample oh shipping yeah you get the shipping problem <laughs> sorry I always forget things like shipping or whatever so 40, yeah. 48 dollars for free standard shipping but anyways for the US mm hmm so, yeah, uh, give it seventy-five a try. dollars for international orders. Apparently, cool, neato. Yeah, so there you go, Gary. And hold on, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Get down. It's free. Oh, free sample kit shipping is six dollars ninety-five cents. Just so everybody knows. That's not. But for yeah. seven. Shipping. For seven dollars, you get a sixty-five dollar kit value, which I just ordered. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. All right. <laughs> uh, so, um, for home stuff, this is something that's kind of been on my wish list for a while. Like, I have a robe; it's just not a big robe. So, oh. are you a big man? Do you want a big man? Do you have a big man? Do you want to keep your big man? You might want to consider Amazon has king size men's 
big and tall terry bathrobe with pockets. They might be a little pricey, depending on what size you want to go with. Believe it or not, they have all the way up to 9XL. Mm. Um, now, their ass fit is expected at about 73%, so that doesn't mean that it's like 100% accurate, but... Hold on one second. The fact that there's bigger size and stuff um, is kind of the reason that I was drawn to it. So uh, it comes in a bunch of different colors and patterns, all that stuff. But uh, I figured I would let you all know because if you like to. Oh, oh, my. Hi, Vanna White. (laughs) (laughs) So for those, I actually have one of these. So when Gary, I was actually when you. When I was looking at this list and I saw, I was like, he got one. I got one. So I have one of their um, king size, I believe. Yeah, it is king size robe. And mine is hooded. Oh, these are not hooded. My link is not for hooded, but I'm sure if you like it with a hood, you can order it. Yeah. And there they are. So I got this. uh, My mom got this for me for my birthday. Um, So yay for me. Um, She probably got it. On QVC or Amazon or whatever, <laughs> no, <laughs> <my mom>. right? <laughs> it it is it is big, like it actually is big on me. It almost drags the floor at how long it is. It is super fucking comfortable. It does have the pockets. It's yeah, I love it. <laughs> so yeah. So when I think of lounging at home, I think of two things. I think of like loungy crappy clothes that are like probably stained and or holy that you've had for years that fit just right but if you want to upgrade that a little bit like a robe could be a great way especially if you're in a home that like my, not my current pl- place but the place i lived at before was usually cold in the morning because we had radiator heat and so unlike having like zoned time and stuff like to get up to a warm home so to speak like i normally would throw on the robe and wear that around on the house you know first thing mm-hmm. in the morning so uh yeah. So yeah, I didn't was. even realize that you had one, Damon. So ta da Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, I got this, like I said, around my birthday. I don't I love it because it's like the perfect like hang around the house, like cover your almost your entire body except your feet. But like it covers my entire body and it is soft and comfortable and yeah. Cool. Perfect. So there's four categories of things that you might want to consider for your loved ones for useful holiday gifts. We've got electronics, entertainment, food, and home. So, are yourself like the stainless steel mug? I'm probably going to be buying. And the <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Now here's the part that my two co-hosts don't know what I'm up to. Uh oh. For one of our lucky podcast listeners. Here's your special instructions. If you listen to this podcast and then you send us an email, Jeff will tell you what the email is in a little bit. We're going to have a drawing of a giveaway. Because, dun, 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 wait until you see what came in the mail. (laughs) (gasps) Oh, it's a Cubs Out Loud corkscrew. Ooh. So we have an official yeah. Cubs Out Loud wine opener. So there's your little knife for your foil cutting. Mm-hmm. And then there's your corkscrew part that goes back down. It also is a bottle opener and it's branded on both sides. <gasps> wow. You're welcome. It's, it's tiny. <laughs> so like it, it'll fit in your pocket in your hand really easy. It's small. Yep. Zazzle had a oh, sale recently, is... so yes. Nice. Yes. So, so one lucky winner. Yes. So that's our little holiday gift to everybody out there. So you have to contact us, tell us, send us an email, and say, I want to get screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I want Cubs Out Loud to screw me. And <laughs> someone some, some sort of uh, pun opener. 
Uh, I do also want to wrap up by by saying uh, one of the things that you're going to find when you click on these links is you are not going to go to to the general Amazon.com for any of our Amazon links. You are going to go to smile.amazon.com, uh, which is something I use. Uh, it is their version of uh, the you know how how you. Like you get those like coupon books or something. It's, it's like as a mm-hmm. donation or or some sort of fundraising yeah. type thing. It's kind of like that in the fact that you can select a charity. Um, in my case, I took Out Youth Austin, and so whenever mm-hmm. you make pay, uh, make purchases through smile.amazon.com, uh, a portion of your purchase will actually go towards the charity. So. When you click the link, you will immediately be on Smile and the appropriate page. Basically, any Amazon page that you, that you go to, if you just change the www in the in the web address to Smile, mm-hmm. you'll you'll be on the appropriate page. So it's right. just just that 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 one port. So it's smile.amazon.com, um, and then choose your, your charity, local or otherwise, uh, that you want want to do. And then just make your purchases as normal. You don't do anything different besides making sure you're on the right site. And if you're logged into your account and you set it up and you tell them what charity you're into, every time you go to a smile.amazon.com link, it kind of remembers that. And the reason I know is because I have chosen Parkinson Partners of Northwest Pennsylvania, which is a local nonprofit chapter that I've been uh, slightly connected to since um, I found out about them because my dad has Parkinson's. So you can choose mm. one that's local. You can choose one that's national or international. Yeah. So it's a good way to help. So, yeah, as another example, um, the Cincinnati Men's Chorus is actually on um, smile.amazon. And that's where I my stuff goes to. And every believe it or not, every little bit helps. So mm. any organization, whether you're, you know, especially when you're doing like you're shopping for a whole bunch of stuff, like say you're going on Amazon and you buy all of these things that we've talked about today. Um just like well, except for all the things that are on. <laughs> except the thing are on, yeah. Anyway, you know what I meant. God. Anyway, so yeah, uh, you'll get the you know you know every little bit will help, and you can choose any like charity you wish. Yeah. So if you buy nine out of the twelve items we suggested today, you can get them all through <laughs> Amazon. Eight. Yeah. Nice. But in any case. Hey, uh, also, if you do purchase the COL soup mug, you'll be supporting Cubs out loud. So. Yeah. Not really a charity, but anyways. Uh, we need to wrap up the show because I actually yep. get to go to work early. So there's plenty of ways to contact us. Uh, pop up to our website, CubsOutLoud.com. Uh, tell us uh, you want to be screwed by Cubs Out Loud. At CubsOutLoud at gmail.com and get a chance to win a corkscrew. Uh, you can uh, leave us a voicemail section here. Otherwise, this will not count as your um, uh, thing for, Entry. for the contest. Entry into the contest. Um, but uh, you can leave us a voicemail anyways at 6 year. Otherwise, at 361-CL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. You can find us on various social media outlets. That comes out loud in the appropriate place of the URL. That's Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. You can join our Entourage chat where I always put in the link for our live show. Um so you can get it to us quickly at tinygirl.com slash telegram dash col. Uh, you can sub- subscribe to our Google Calendar to find out when we're planning on um, uh, showing these shows or uh, airing these shows at tinygirl.com slash calendar dash col. I can read. Really, I can. <laughs> uh, if you want to support us, there's a couple ways to do that. One is to pop over to our merch store at zazzle.com your appropriate localization slash Cubs out loud. Cause remember it's not just Zazzle.com. It's a Zazzle.co.uk. Zazzle.com.au. Zazzle.e.de, et cetera. Um, but always slash Cubs out loud and you're, you'll be at our store. It should be the same products across the board. Um, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, which we thank so much. We had just this past week gotten uh, this month's drop, so we thank you patrons so very much. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been able to build myself a brand spanking new computer. 
uh, <laughs> it, which uh, will definitely help. I still need to figure out how to get my stuff from my hard drive to my solid state drive, so that would even make it better. But that's uh, another matter altogether. Uh, you can subscribe to us through Apple Podcasts as uh, or rate us on Apple Podcasts. Subscribe to us through Google Play Podcasts and Spotify. Find me anywhere on the internet. It says box that box puppy box cub box something or other. Um, you can find me as Theater Cup Seven Nine on most bear related sites, or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. If you would like to get in touch with me online, you can pretty much find me anywhere as Gare Bear seventy three on Twitter. The bad stuff that you should only be watching under covers with tissues nearby would be G A R B E A R seven three X X X. Your emails are due into us before we go live next Sunday, and next Sunday during the show we'll draw who gets to win being screwed by cops out loud okay just one week it's been one week since you looked at me anyways uh with that <laughs> say good night hey everybody good night everyone have a good one y'all I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean, Philip. Bitch. It's gonna. Like, I really fucking love this robe. Like, when when I put this robe on, after I pulled it out of the bag, out of the box that my mom like shipped it in, I was like, oh my god, and. I don't know if she know, but my favorite colors are blue and green, and it's like a navy blue and a green, and then there's a lighter, like a slate blue, and I mean, and then there's the white, the white as well. But it's just like, oh my god, I fucking love it, and the fact that it has a hood. Oh, that's what he said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was waiting. I made a reference earlier, but I was like, nope. Bitch.